Hello and welcome to Mystic Love Tarot with me, your host, Ali Jeffcott, tarot consultant, pagan priestess and spiritual life coach. Today I am just doing a vlog for the UK Tarot Conference that was on in London. I was very lucky to go to this conference this year. Good morning, my sunshines, rainbows, orchids and moonlights and welcome to my first ever vlog first ever vlog. So normally you see me on the other side of this studio lamp where I am doing the tarot. But this time you're going to see a look into my personal life and I am unapologetically me. So I really hope that you guys enjoy it. Um, what's going to happen is you're going to come and see like my family, you see Hunter, um, but you'll also see the traveling conference, see what happened whilst I was there. Um, and you're going to meet some really cool people also people that you would like to know more about, people that might influence your life in one way or another. So I've asked them to do little interviews on here, little podcast streams, so I really hope that you enjoy it. Um, if you haven't checked out the podcast as well, I've been branching out on the technology, I'm branching out on technology, thanks to Josie Vinton. Um, she's my little 23-year-old sidekick, and she helps sidekick, sidekick, and she helps me with all the technology side of things. So I'm really branching out a little bit more for you all. Um, I do hope you enjoy it. Drop me a message if you need me and I will see you on the other side. So I wanted to do a vlog for you all. The night before I left, this is me at my mum and dad's house. That's my dad and he is pouring us some champagne. My parents need it because they are on toddler duty for the next couple of days. They are going to be looking after little Hunter Moon. So here we are having our champagne before the day actually starts. Well, it's the night before, before the conference actually starts. Just settling in into their house, having a bit of a cheers. Uh, you can see Poppy behind behind the sofa um, and there is Hunter coming in with some orange in a tub doing my makeup for the conference the next day and I went for a little pink look meeting clients from Texas today so I was really really looking forward to that and I really felt like pink was the energy I wanted to incorporate into my day. I have to start the day with a morning coffee. Who doesn't? But I have it with milk and hot water. I do not have any sugar in my cup, but this is a cup I have at my mum and dad's house that says witch's brew, which is just apt for who I am. Perfect. Here I am drinking my cup of tea from the witch's brew. Makeup all done. And here we go to a peacock. Yes, a peacock. So as a lot of you know um, that listen to Mystical Moonday Musings, we had the goddess Hera coming in. This is a great sign that she was there in the car with my dad now on the way to the conference and getting to the train station where it says London Euston. Here comes the train coming in, coming in and off we go on the train now, seeing what's happening, having a bit of a read, having a chill walking time to walk through the London and there's my pink trainers having a little step along the way found a beautiful park which was right next to my hotel so I just had a nice walk there and arrived in my room with my pink on and a secret packet of Doritos that I took with me having a munch I then decided to go and have a little espresso before I met my dear client, Tiffany. And here she is all the way from Texas, giving me a hat. <laughs> had a wonderful time with her and then it was time to glow up and get ready for the night so I changed from pink to yellow met these two lovely ladies who I met at the conference last year and we had a little champagne on the way after that we went to do a reading and it was lovely for me to be able to read for people in person because I normally read online data protection I had to cut out the audio of this bit but as you can see on here we have the Emperor the eight of swords and the knight of cups and the outcome of her questions outcome yeah 
and this was the time that we decided to get ready to go for the conference. So we had a lovely little walk through London as we made our way there and we also found some hoodies that we ended up buying. At the conference this is us meeting up with everyone, having some more drinks and just relaxing. Do you want me to hold that for you? No, we're vlogging. <laughs> Hi. What would you like to talk about? What would you like to talk to us about? What would I like to talk about? I would like to talk about how the WGA has settled a strike, and I'm still on strike. But I'm in London to go to a conference on tarot cards, so I'm going to enjoy the now. The now is, the now is everything. Now is everything. Now is everything. <laughs> Good enough? So this is us just making vlogs with everyone, Stephen Bright coming up from behind and the guy next to me, his name is Matthew and he has written a book called The Mystic Wizard but more about that later. We also have two ladies that we met here, um, absolutely wonderful souls. And this is Liz Dean and my dear friend Betty Jane. We all sat there and we did some talking about reading from nature using Liz's amazing advice and guidance. Following on from that, we had a talk from Christopher Hughes. And I was in the back rooting through this box, which must have come from one of those house clearance things. So coming up next, you're just going to hear from the wonderful Matthew Thomas Baker, who created this book. I was really drawn to him. As soon as I walked into the Tower Conference, I heard him say Porto. And all of you guys know that I have a massive heart piece for Porto, seeing as that's where my husband is from. Well, he's from Brazil, but then lived in Porto. So when he said Porto, I was like, oh my God, Portugal, we can talk to the men. Um, so <laughs> I had a bit of a chat with him. And then when he told me his book was called The Way of the Mystic Wizard, I was like, Mystic? Mystic Moon? Uh, mystical moon days and mystic love tarot so coming up next just have a little chat with him walking the streets of porto hey matt baker here i live in uh, porto this is typical i met ali at the tarot conference she asked me to do a little vlog about my book the way of the mystic wizard and so this is part one of that uh, i had a wonderful time at the tarot conference my second time there and as i said i met ali and a bunch of other great people now i'm back i sort of split my time between this wonderful city porto and then travel and teach in the uk and other parts of europe so the way of the mystic wizard yep it's basically helps you build a daily spiritual practice so that you can make some progress and uh Kind of move forward and uh, stabilize and balance your life. It's our little walk home in the middle of the night, doing some silly dancing and getting ready for the next day and what we were going to be learning on our way. So I just want to take a second to talk to you guys about my friend's app. So this lady over here is Cheryl. She has created an app for tarot. So if you are a new reader and you want to learn what the tarot means in a really easy way, this is a great app for you. And if you're an old reader and you've been doing this for a while, it's a really good app because it can save your spreads and give you daily guidance. So it really is worth it. It's really affordable and it has great feedback. So go check it out, guys. It's called the Tarot Journal and I really hope that you love it. So waking up for day two of the conference, I had to have a black tea because I drank all the coffee yesterday. This is the rundown that was on of the event of all the guest speakers that were there on the Friday and the Saturday and everything that we had in store for us over that weekend. Hey kids and Moonlight, so I am in London and this is the Tower Conference. So last night was really, really good. Um, met up with quite a few people. It was lovely. Drank a little bit too much wine, as you can see by my eyes. I drank the wine. Um, but it was really good night and ended up getting some matching hoodies. As a London fashion statement that says London on them, just for matching tarot conference hoodies. Um, met a few people. Definitely did quite a lot of networking. Told everyone about the podcast. And if you haven't subscribed to it, please go and hit subscribe. We're running a competition for a free reading next week. Um, so do make sure that you go and subscribe and have a listen on what to do. Um, and yeah, that's about the news from London. Also, check out my new dress. I thought you guys would like it. If anyone's gonna like it, you guys will. And it's got like crystal balls on it. It's got scales of justice. It's also got some cards on it here. Cards and um, really cool dress. So have a totally blessed day. I love you all and I'll speak to you later.
So when went on to the conference, and this is the setup of the entire room, um, we had a few talks throughout the day and we started off with a blessing in the morning, which was totally beautiful, but I didn't get it recorded because it was such a sacred part of our journey. These are some new cards that I bought um, and some some cards are in the goodie bag as well as an americano and my new howdy howdy mug this is my first spread in the conference so to go with the blessing these were the cards that i pulled but like i said i did not record the blessing it's so sacred just wanted to show you the live feed that kim arnold did on facebook just to show the introduction to the conference next Everyone, here we are at our new venue. So I'm going to go really quick because I'm really busy and very manic like I always am. So this is our selling space. Here's Martin and goodie bags waiting to be picked up. People are still arriving. Just going to take you into the room. So we're still an hour from... Um, kicking off, but it's all looking pretty fabulous. We've got our little tech team there with Matt and Tish, and let's just go through here. And then we've got the lovely Geraldine setting up at the back of the room. It all looks very scattered, but it will all be sorted later. And there we go. Be back. Just taking a second to introduce you to my dear friend, Betty Jane. I met her two years at the conference and straight away we clicked with Glastonbury. And we've stayed in touch ever since. Um, she came to Stoke-on-Trent where I live to help out with Witchfest. So I got to spend some time with her there. And I love spending time with her at the conference. She's a dear friend of mine. So soon to be a YouTuber also. So do keep your eye on her. Um, here's Betty Jane. Hello, everyone. I'm Betty Jane. Hi, Allie. Thanks for asking me to do this. I am just back from the UK Tarot Conference where I was honored to be Kim's world card from the her new deck, the Arcana 20. So if you don't have it, go to the website and order it. It's fabulous because I'm the world. I was had so much fun at the conference this year and I just counted all of my decks and I have 17 of them that I brought home. I'm not sure where we're gonna find room in the shelves, but we will. So I'm gonna say have a great year, everybody, and blessed Halloween. Bye. So heading back to the conference now, where we then had a wonderful talk at the conference by Stephen we Bright. Following on from this, we went for a delicious lunch with my lunchtime crew and we had a lovely time around the corner. The sun was shining, the weather was really lovely and it was just a totally blessed lunch. I had a chocolate brownie. We then went on to have more talks in the afternoon by Belle Seville, Geraldine and a woman called Ephany Dawn who is a Wiccan guide. So this was Ephany's talk about shadow work and I really did enjoy that. And we then went on to have a bit of an evening celebration. This is the wonderful Kim Arnold who organises the Tarot Conference every single year. She's a blessing to us all. Following on from that we met Nina and yes there was a little bit more alcohol consumed at this point and we went on to have a talk uh, with Geraldine from Atlantis Bookshop but also with Kim for it's a 20 year um, anniversary of the Tarot Conference and that was beautiful. Well, we put the first conference on in uh, the London uh, Art House and Atlantis have supported me every single conference that I have done um, and they, they've just been amazing both of you ladies thank you. So I was sorry to say that on the Saturday I didn't make it to the conference because I had to stay in the room and I had to do some tarot readings for those of you that needed me. However, after I'd done that, I put on my Glad Rex. This is my beautiful animal skirt. I just absolutely love it and I don't get many opportunities to wear it. It was very warm in London. 
So we went into Covent Garden and got some dinner. And you had these massive burgers and then came home and looked at all the goodies that we had. So this is the Quen Tarot, which I got on the auction. It was the best tarot deck of the year 2022 and it's a forget tarot G cup. It's absolutely beautiful. The back of it says experience the ultimate tarot journey with Quen Tarot, the 2002 Carter Awards best tarot deck and best self-published deck. This deck was the original deck before it got put on Kickstarter. These are the other goodies that I got. It was really exciting to play with all of them. Um, I was so happy to have such wonderful cards and I have to go through them now because I don't know um, how many I actually bought. I have so many. And this was some original artwork that I also got in the auction by Chris Butler. It is the lover's card from his original 2002 painting. Um, and it's so, so beautiful. And I asked him to sign it uh, for Hunter and for all Hunter's babies and everyone that is to come after that. It's just so beautiful. Returning to my room, I saw Betty Jane, her husband Pat and their friend Dennis at the bar. So I just called by to have a little glass of water. And this is a message from Kim Arnold, the founder of the Tarot Conference. Hi, I'm Kim Arnold, founder of the UK Tarot Conference. We just wrapped up our 20th event, 2023. It was amazing. Amazing speakers, great people, fantastic merchandise. It was just wonderful. Um, I'm just literally packing up the boxes from the weekend, of which there are many, um, but it was great. And if you were there, thank you. Thank you for your support always. Um, see you soon. Bye. So guys, that is a wrap from me and from the Tarot Conference. Watch on if you want to see what happened on my way home and what happened when I got home. Um, so just watch on for that bit if you'd like to see that. But that's the Tarot Conference all wrapped up for you and finishing with the wonderful Kim Arnold telling you all about the conference. So if you need me, you know how to get in touch. Just drop me a message. I'll put all the contact details at the end and I'll put it in the comments as well. I love you all lots. I really hope you enjoyed my first ever vlog and watch on to see Hunter and Pop. Happy. Lots of love, guys. Mwah. On the way home, decided to do a quick card spread. Um, and then I got a video of Hunter walking the dog. So I thought you guys might like to see that he was caught on camera. Enjoying the time when I picked them both up. Got home, Poppy having a run around the garden. And then I caught Hunter with my cards. Good boy, well done. What card you got? Queen of Pence. What card you got? Queen of Pence. Thank you, Mama. So thank you so much for joining the vlog and I really hope that you've enjoyed it. My contact details are on the screen and if you need me, just give me a shout. Lots of love to you all and many, many blessings from my house to yours. Ciao, ciao, at a local.